In this video, I'm going to get us started on our interior design assignment. Uh, the interior design assignment for this quarter is called the 6.0. Every once in a while, that number will change. But it's all about interior designing or arranging the space in that uh, room 330. Now, in this assignment, we're going to find out the role interior designers have in architecture. Architects plan and create the space. Interior designers fill it. Now, uh, the basics here, the things you got to have to get your points are you got to download um, items from the 3D warehouse that you will need to have 36 spots to sit in the front of the room and 36 spots with technology in the back of the room. Um, so that's the first part, kind of like how my room is already laid out. I have 36 spots in the front, 36 spots in the back. You're not limited to my ideas of what I have there, but just uh, I want to make sure I have those two spaces having 36 spots, back having technology with that. Now, the next thing is, along that north facing wall, there's cabinets uh, in other storage. So um, I would like you to put some uh, cabinets and storage in there. And anything else that you want to do as far as uh, adding rugs or any putting posters on the wall, I don't know, whatever it is you want to do, uh, you can do that, adding color and textures at, at the end. Um, with that being said, uh, here's what we got to do. So in our SketchUp assignment uh, from our last one, we want to use it um, for this assignment. So we're going to start with our from our model here from our last, which is a 330 layout or the floor plan we did from room 330. Uh, and the important part now is, um, if you don't have that all done or if it got messed up, all you need to do is make the perimeter again, make that offset at that eight inches and push pull it for that eight foot wall and you can just start there. Uh, don't worry about putting everything else in if you've messed your last one up or uh, something happened in that process. Now, uh, getting started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by just talking about guidelines, all right? So one of the things that you wanna start with here is you wanna start by organizing your space with the tape measure tool, similar to how we did all the other stuff in our, in our other assignment, um, our previous assignment, but it's just, we wanna make sure we have guidelines on the floor. I don't know, whatever, maybe five feet back, you wanna start your desk being when they walk in the door, if you want them in line with the door. Um, but you wanna kinda of give yourself, uh, I guess, points or lines where you're going to end up placing this and end up sticking so it's not going through the floor or floating in the air. And we also want to have one from the opposite edge. So coming in here, we want to have some here, um, somewhere starting, and then whatever you end up having those spaces, escape, I just misclicked there. Whatever I end up having those spaces in between my tables or my seats, um, I want to have another set of guidelines. Uh, once we get guidelines laid out, and you can do this kind of either way, uh, start by getting your tables and then finding out how big they are, or um, just making your guidelines first and kind of placing your things as you download them. So now the next thing I'm going to show you is you could use the 3D Warehouse, which is a lot more expansive and has a lot more stuff that I, like I showed you in another tab, just going to it um, in the 3D Warehouse search and Google. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you find it in actual SketchUp app. So in here, we select a thing called components. Uh, components are a way we can search them is if we come over to here to the 3D warehouse, which is the right-hand side, not the home. Home will be have whatever components we have in our model, which if we go to that, we have a few of them because we've downloaded them. I still have that model that we uh, started with that, that way, uh, the lady, uh, the door and the window we brought in, those are all components. Um, but I wanna bring in a few more, so I'm gonna search something like table. All right, and I'll see a lot of different stuff, and I can be more specific if I wanted to, like classroom table. Uh, I might come up with better options that way. Um, but anyway, once I do this, if I find what I like, I can just select it by downloading, and then it will put it right on my cursor, and I will be able to move it where I want it to be. The thing I would suggest is just putting it down somewhere, off to the edge, and then making as many as you need, and then also remembering that you want to end up selecting the point that you end up wanting to drop it on when you go to your guidelines. So if you're ever putting this or placing it, you want to select the point here and then go into our model, orbit to where this place is going to end up going, and then drop it on that intersection you previously made. So it's sitting on the floor in the, in the model and not just hovering in space. Or if you go to the front view, which right now I can't see because my components are open, um, you don't want it like floating or going through our model. Uh, I hope that helps get you started here um, and uh, have some fun uh, interior designing our last assignment, Room 330. Thanks for watching.